Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Lachey Mailer, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, I just want to talk to you about the storms. The storms of life that come with life. Do you often want to just get past the storm? And you don't want to go through... You don't want to go through the storm. You want to know why you are experiencing it instead of trying to focus on the lesson that you're supposed to learn during the storm. We think we get so caught up on what we're going through and we never focus on what we're really learning. And if we spend time focusing on what the lesson is rather than what we're going through, I'm pretty sure that all the pain will be worth it in the end. Suffering is required because it allows us to grow and there is no growth where there is no suffering right there's no growth where there's no hardships there's no growth where there's no challenge there's no growth where it's not difficult uh these things are required in order that one may grow constantly continually always you know and if we didn't have these things in alignment and balance in our lives and in the world and obstacles right to push us and all these small setbacks and the storms of our life the most hardest and darkest moments of our lives if we didn't experience the things that we experienced we wouldn't be the people we are today be proud of the person you are today but face a storm with the intent of wanting to know what the lesson is not why you are suffering not why am i am i going through this not why not why me refocus your perspective on thinking well what is it that i need to learn like what is it i need to improve on like what is it why am i still stuck in one place why am i stagnant why i'm not growing why am i still going through the same old hardship why am i still going through the same old pain what is it that i can do to relieve myself or free myself from the thing that i am experiencing and experiencing is great because it requires you to grow as well but it's also a way of learning and if you took your life sufferings in a perspective of learning what is it what is the lesson that you learned today do you know what you, like do you know what you've learned today do you know the lesson of today today i learned that I cannot expect great things in my life if I cannot overcome the small obstacles in my life. Don't expect great things if you don't plan to do the little ones, okay? You cannot expect greatness. You cannot want greatness without making great efforts. And if you have small faith, small belief, then your belief and faith is a reflection of your actions and if you live in a fearful mindset of fearful conscious thinking a low mentality where you live in a realm where you're too scared to do it you too scared you may fail you too scared that it may not happen you rather make excuses you rather ask why than learn the reasons of lessons that you're supposed to learn you rather have all this than to know the lesson that god intended you to learn so what is the intended lesson of each day what is the intended lesson of every obstacle that's in your way what is it teaching you what are you learning so what did today's storm teach you about yourself what did today's storm teach you about life? What did today's storm teach you about people you love? What did today's storm teach you about your interaction with people? What did today teach you about you? Okay. What is it that you need to improve on? What is it that you need to work on? How are you planning to be the greatest version of who you are? I'm not saying be the greatest person that you are inspired by. Be the best you you can be by your own definition. Everybody's success and greatness is different and well-defined by who they are and who they want to be. So when you decide and know who you want to be, then these obstacles will just be learning lessons and lessons learned. And there's no such thing as failure, only lessons unlearned. So until you learn the lessons in which God intended you to learn, you will keep going through the same thing over and over again, constant 
repeating yourself repetitiously over and over again revolving not evolving so do you want to evolve or revolve and are you ready to grow because we on a growth level mindset let's have a gratitude attitude and a curious mindset and a hunger for learning and thinking about more solutions how can you help someone today how can what you have to offer help someone what are you doing to get yourself out there as an entrepreneur as a business owner as somebody who's aspired book author whatever it is that you're doing what are you doing to get yourself out there what are you doing to put yourself on a pedestal what are you doing to let people know hey i have something amazing and i know it can help you how you are how are you allowing people to know that you have something worth looking into worth buying worth purchasing it's time to get started it's time to make an effort on you be busy about the lessons be busy about the learning be busy about the financial breakthrough the financial abundance the financial growth the financial income the increasement in investing in stocks and marketing be about your business and be about your family peace love and happiness and have an abundant day i love you guys make sure that you're doing great things for you don't focus on the storm focus on the lessons and abundance and blessings come your way no matter what so peace prosperity as always and that's what we represent on this page i love you guys let's inspire and impact the universe in a way we know how